What's up, YouTube? So, today we are getting in another informative game, and today is a little bit special, because Riot actually just changed Spear of Shoujin, and they made it so that Spear of Shoujin, Stridebreaker, and Gore Drinker all give increased health, while also nerfing Hecarim in a way that now he doesn't, uh, he can't as viably build tier and mirror mana. So because of this, it's been kind of like the death of Assassin Hecarim, so to speak, and he is like much more of a i guess a bruiser now right so i thought i'd get a video in kind of showcasing the new items my thoughts on everything and all that kind of stuff um so the new setup that i've been running runes wise is i've been going domination secondary with ingenious hunter or uh ultimate hunter because nowadays since you don't need to sack your tier anymore you can actually afford to get ultimate hunter so you have like your ult up more you can go for more fights and all that kind of stuff right I know that there are some people that think Conqueror is going to be good nowadays. I don't agree. I don't think Conqueror is ever worth going. And the reason why is just because if you get invaded and you have Conqueror, it doesn't help you, right? If you try running down enemies that can kite you like Lilia and Ash, it doesn't help you. So that's the reason why I think that going, um, I think that going face rush every game is still the play. Even if you're not building an assassin build. But with the Shoujin changes, 100% you rush it every game. Because when you get Shoujin and you get Ionian boots... The cool thing is that you actually have 60 ability haste. So you usually get that around like what? Level 8, level 9 let's say. So that means at level 8, level 9 you have 60 ability haste. And Spear of Shoujin only applies to your non-ultimate abilities. But Ultimate Hunter applies to your ultimate ability. Which means that in total you're getting haste on literally all your abilities with this. So it's like the maximum haste build. Feels really, really, really good right now. Um... So yeah, that's why, like, recently what I've been doing is Shoujin Rush every game. Like, that's guaranteed. And then, afterwards, you can go Eclipse, you can go uh, Gore Drinker, Shidebreaker, whatever item you really want, depending on the game. This game, if I get, like, an insane lead, I might go Eclipse as a second item. Uh, just because the enemy team is, like, squishier. But if not, I'll probably just go Stridebreaker. Because Stridebreaker also feels really good. And when you have, like, both items complete, you're literally sitting at, like, 2200 HP. 22, Okay, so I'm just going to check River here. See what's going on. Oh, nice. Maybe get solo kill. Okay, so the good news is Pike has kill pressure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for bot gank. I'll show you guys how you gank bot though. A lot of you would do this wrong. 99% of people would do what here? They would walk through lane, right? And they'd hope that their pike lands a Q. And said what the play is, is you walk here from behind the tower like that. I mean, it sucks to end up dying because I took like more turret shots than I thought I would. But getting the one for one is actually like really worth it. As long as I don't end up dying to Ash here, it's okay. Oh, they all died to Ash here. <laughs> oh, I'll well, see. That's not that worth actually. Jesus. Not that worth then. Um, I mean, if anything, I can just look for a refill clear then. Ash getting fed doesn't really matter that much to me because I'm just going to one shot her anyways at two items. Even not building full assassin, if I go like Shoujin into Shidebreaker, Ash literally cannot do anything. We're just unable to play the game. So I'll probably just play for the full clear now. Just free full clear, look for a gank on Ash, or maybe like, since I'm gonna have a little bit of downtime after Raptors, maybe I'll even look for a dragon play. Let's just in this here. Sheen items? No, I don't think Sheen items are that good. I'm gonna be honest. Even with the new Shoujin, it doesn't matter. I think, especially because, like, Gorjinker and Shadbreaker got buffed. It's just, like, way better to go those items. Okay. Well, I had good enough movement to dodge the, uh, Nefiri second Q, so that was good. Because, like, I'll tell you... Listen, I'll tell you what the issue with Sheen items is, Okay. The problem with Sheen items is that you have to actually auto-attack to use them, right? 
So, let me explain something to you. With this build, you have a lot of ability haste, right? You're going to be queuing every, like, let's say second later on in the game. And the thing is that when you're queuing every second, right, do you really want to sit there and queue, auto, queue, auto, queue, auto in a team fight, Or would you rather just stick onto an enemy and queue, 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 queue until they just, like, die to your queues and you can always, like, be in a position where you can dodge all their abilities? This is the reason why, like, listen, Shoujin might be a cool item, doesn't matter. Going Shin items isn't worth it. I want to do this here. 100% Dragon is a free play. I think with these changes though, Lane Hecarim will actually come back. And with Lane Hecarim, I think you will do Sheen items. Um... If it doesn't come back, like, this season, it'll definitely come back next season with the removal of Mythic items. But yeah, I think Lane Hecarim will definitely be back, though. Okay. I think here I just do this. Invade this, get level 6, and then just look for a shot down on Ash. I'm gonna have ult and Ghost. Okay, let's go for this. So I want to look for a play, but then they just finally backed off. So what I'm going to do in Sus, I'm going to invade Wolves. And the reason why is because if Lily resets, comes to her bot side, and I have Q Sacks, Ghost, and Ult, she's just dead instantly. So that's why greeting here is okay. If not, she's top. She took my blue. Okay. So we just do this one. Perfect. And now I can just run to her red, start taking that if she comes again. I have ult, I have ghost, it doesn't matter. I just kill her. But she's resetting. So you know what? I might abuse the fact that she just reset. The problem is she does have a Shen, so I need to actually keep that in mind. I was going to go for an invade on the Raptors, but now she has a Shen and her Nefir is coming back to lane. I'll just do Herald then. Because at least if I do Herald, Malphite can like come here, and if Malphite comes, then we're going to be okay. Malphite's here, Pike's here. Yeah, we have everyone roaming. This is really good. Nice. So now we can just do this. I'm going to assume that her Krugs are up too. Because if I cleared her entire jungle and her Raptors just respawned and she was like doing her Raptors, and that means her Krugs should be untouched. Perfect. Just like that. So now this is a play that a lot of people would mess up on, right? You're resetting, right? And you see that you have an insane gold advantage on the enemy jungler. And you also know that they're insanely far behind, they can't do shit, right? What would most people do here? They would default to a full clear. They would say either, oh, I want a full clear top to bot, or I want a full clear bot to top. But if you actually want to use your advantage, right, and you're just playing for the full clear, how does that actually do anything? It doesn't. So to actually abuse our advantage, what we should do, right, is get Q-Sacks off this, and then look, right there. Q-Sacks off Raptors, then we get on the Lilia. Just like that. See? And now, most people would make a mistake. They would say, oh no, I just want to full clear now. I just want to full clear. But listen, their Nefiri said, our support is roaming, right? So what should we do? Invade its wolves again. Just like this. This is proactive jungling. Right? So there's a little bit of risk here. But not really. So now we just get the wolf cam for free, right? And then guess what's going to happen? Lilia's going to come here, she's going to do Gromp, and then she's going to say, oh, I want to go for Wolves after, right? And then she's going to say, oh, Wolves are gone. Well, I guess what I'll do is I'll just go for my Raptors. But we know that Raptors have 45 second timers, so what do we do? We invade. Just invade. Perma invade at this point. At this point, Lilia is not allowed to play the game anymore. She's just not allowed. 
And you know what? She actually messed up. Because the thing is that she went for uh, Raptors, but now she's going to know Raptors are gone and Krugs are gone and everything. So what's her only play going to be? Going to Gromp. So what's my play? Oh, I'll show you what my play is. Getting Q-Sacks off red and then doing this. So now 99%... Wait, what? Oh my god. So now there's a 99% chance that she's on Gromp right now. And all I need is for my team to rotate and she loses the game. See? Wow. Oh, that landed! Fuck. I didn't realize I was actually on. My bad. Uh, I mean, that's fine, though. Yeah, that's okay. So now, this is where most junglers, right, that do have a proactive playstyle would grief. And how would they grief? Well, they would grief by saying, I want to invade her again. I see her blues respawning, raptors are respawning, I want to invade one of those camps, right? What you have to understand is that just setting the enemy jungler behind isn't what actually wins you the game. So, what our actual play is right now, is we go, we'll drop our health for balling, right? And then we just go and we do dragon. Because objectives are what wins games, not just kills. So, setting Lily behind is good, right? I have a 2 level advantage after I do Krugs, it's going to be really good. But the thing is, if I just keep trying to play for kills on Lilia, I don't actually have any late game insurance policies. So, what will my late game insurance policy be? The dragon. So then we just go, we do this dragon on spawn, and then we can look for an invader after. If it is up. And if it's not up, oh, well, I'll just folk here. I'm not gonna, no, I'm not gonna risk it. Because if I walk here, I'm just wasting time. There's a 35 second timer on this red right now. Oh, Lilia showed. Wait, Lilia showed. She might have just griefed the game by that. And by might, I mean she did. I saw her wolves were respawning, so that's why I know she's gonna be bot side. You're fucking trolling with that shit, right? <laughs> I mean, listen, if I wasn't getting hit by literally every single ult in the entire game and having every ult committed for me, that would have actually been, like, fine. But it's fine. Because now Lilia respawns, and what does she do on a respawn? She says, oh, I want red. I want to take my red. Okay, well, you can go try to take your red. But I'm going to contest you on it. I just didn't clear my camps before because for some reason in Season 13... Killing your jungle monsters actually heals you. So that's like really fun. So we just need to like farm up a little bit to, to get more health and then we'll be okay. I'm mean, never your zero ults. So now if she's not here, that means she's on her bot side. Nice. Well, listen, if she did her Krugs, it means that she was on her, or it means that her entire bot side is up, so now I just invade and I take everything again. See? You see how you just always want to play in the enemy jungler's face when you have a lead? And now it's like it's impossible for her to ever carry the game, it's impossible for her to ever come back. See, what I'm doing here is a little dumb, because what I should do is I should just reset them and play for the Herald, but I'm greedy, <laughs> so I'm not doing that. I'm just going to invade these Raptors. Invade these Raptors and then play for this. But by doing this, though, even though it is, like, insanely greedy, what it does is it makes it so that on my next reset, I should be able to get Shidebreaker. 2600. Alright, so now our team wants to fight mid. What would most people do here? They would say, oh, all my jungle camps are respawning. Let me farm. Nope. What you actually want to do... Oh, I was going to just use Hell Top. But yeah, so that's a new uh, Shochin Rush. Um, 
This is also like a tutorial on how to play jungle when you have a lead as well. So I was like, pretty chill. Just like the game didn't go on long enough for me to show the two item power spike. But if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. Some of you haven't already, and I will see you all for the next one. Peace.